Hey, what is up everyone? Welcome back to another video. So in this video, this is gonna be quick and simple. I've been asked, how do I create nested virtualization within VMware? And I recently had to do this because I'm doing a side project, more to come later, but I'm installing Goad on a Xeon server that I have, that I had for quite a few years that I was using VMware on it or ESXi. It was during my studies for my VCAP. So it's a pretty old server, but it has 64 gigs of RAM. It's a Xeon processor. It still does its job. So that's not about this video, but what I started when I started out Goad, which was a disaster, I installed Ubuntu VM, right? So I installed uh, Ubuntu as a VM inside of VMware. And what do you need when you have these virtualization softwares? You need nested virtualization. So what is this? When you have a type one hypervisor like Proxmox or Hyper-V or ESXi, that sits on the bare metal of a server, right? And then you install your VMs that reside on there. So a type two hypervisor is something like VirtualBox, VMware Workstation, uh, uh, VMware Fusion, or any of those kinds of virtualization platforms. So in my case right now, I have VMware Workstation Pro 17 on my Windows machine. So I want to zoom this in, but right here I have Ubuntu VM. If we go to settings here, we can see, I want to bring this over here so everything's in one little area. And we have processors, right? On this VM, I assigned eight processes because it was going to run Goad and it needed a lot of resources. So I, I went another route, so I just want to make sure you guys understand how to install virtualization within a virtualization software, which is called nested virtualization. So you go to processes and right here you have virtualization engine. Make sure you click virtualize uh, Intel VT and AMD VRVI. So enabling this, clicking OK, that's all it takes for you to create your hypervisor to be nested virtualization. So that's it for today's video. It's quick, simple. It's how to set up nested virtualization in VMware Workstation 17 or VMware Workstation as a whole. And thank you so much. And I'll see you guys in the next one with further Goad series videos. Thank you so much.